the lens that took this image cost less than $60. The same lens was used to capture this image. One of the challenges of infrared photography is hotspots. Hotspots are circles of overexposed or color temperature shifted light that appears in the center of an infrared image. These can be mild adding extra work to your post-processing to correct, or they can be severe and ruin a set of images. Unfortunately, hotspots appear in around half of all lenses. Vintage lenses are a great way to avoid hotspots. That's exactly what I'm doing with these images. All of these images were shot with a Minolta Roker X 45mm f2 lens designed for a 35mm film SLR camera. I first noticed this lens on Edward Noble's IR lens database due to its high score. As expected, this lens is free from hotspots. I purchased it on eBay for only 59 US dollars. This lens is small and incredibly lightweight at only 125 grams. As a full frame lens, the image quality is excellent on APS-C crop sensor mirrorless cameras. It's very sharp in the center of the image and slightly softer in the corners it would probably do well adapted to a full-frame mirrorless camera as well. The corner softness is more noticeable when mounted on a medium format camera. On the GFX, slight corner vignetting was easily corrected via the lens correction panel in Lightroom Classic. The normal focal length and lack of hotspots make this lens well suited for panoramas. It connects to my Fujifilm X cameras via a Photosee adapter. It's a manual adapter with no electrical contacts, good for an all manual lens, and a bargain at only $15. It connects to my Fujifilm GFX camera via a $38 adapter from KNF Concept. Vintage lenses are affordable, great for infrared, and easily adapted to mirrorless cameras. The Minolta Roker X 45mm f2 is all of that. Check out my blog for other vintage lenses I've tested for infrared. Also, check out Edward Noble's IR lens database. Do you have a favorite vintage lens for infrared? Let us know in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about infrared photography, check out my book, Color Doesn't Exist, a practical guide to infrared photography. It's full of details for photographers at all skill levels. Now available in print and ebook editions. Check it out at infraredbook.com. If you find these videos helpful on your infrared photography journey, like, subscribe, or comment. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.